Oi! It's nippy out. Hey, come on out. You got a haircut appointment. Welcome back to the Southern IA. Here, guys. We got a few odds and ends things that we're going to do today. First thing I'm going to tackle is uh, giving my main man, Wayne, a buzz cut. Or a fight with the lawnmower. Whatever other people want to call it. Neck up. Where'd you find that? Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another satisfied customer. Hey, he's also my only customer, but it's satisfied. The next thing that we're going to be working on is trying to get some water out of here. The skid steer brings in water every time I go out into the snow with it. Same with the tractor. This is the low spot, no floor drain, so I got to try and get it out. Still don't like how dirty that gets, but it's better than walking back and forth in water all day. Let's go get what we're really after. This is a guy could get dizzy doing that. There's what we're after though. Let's grab it. Oh. Open. So what is this thing? Good question. This right here is a 10 bell grapple. This allows us to pick up bales that are laid out into a pattern of 10 that's been dumped by the small square baler, pick them up with a skid steer like this, or a tractor like those. This summer, my dad and I picked this one up. It looks like it has had very little loose. It's straight, well heavily built. I don't know who makes this one right here. I'm gonna guess it's a Holscher, which our other ones are Holschers too. Uh, this one looks a lot heavier built than our other ones. Oh, he's out here. Come on. But the issue with this one here is I believe these are Westendorf loader brackets on it. So I got to get those chopped off here today. And I'm going to try and weld, or I am going to weld, the skid steer plate onto it. This will allow us to use either the skid steer or a tractor with the skid steer plate. We already have two of these, but only one of them has that quick attached skid steer plate. The other one is actually set up for this loader right here. But the issue is, is that that tractor is also the baling tractor, so you can't be picking up bales while you're actually baling. So with this one here, now we have the ability to pick up bales and bale bales at the same time efficiently. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's pause, pause, pause. I'm just gonna lift this thing up in the air, let it drip off and then eat lunch. And I actually gotta go look at the quad track. Yeah, we're definitely gonna let it melt for a little bit, but man, that thing is splatter welded on there. That's gonna be interesting getting off. In the meantime though, I'm gonna go move the snow by the shed where we keep the small square bales. Because I got a couple loads I need to deliver. And then I also need to go look at the quad track. We got some cool things coming for that quad track.
think that lock's frozen. I have to do something about that. Got some lunch ate, hang out with Wayne for a little bit. Uh, one thing that I do miss about about not coming into work or being in the shop every single day is that I always enjoy having lunch with Wayne. So, let's get to chopping. This is where having a plasma cutter might be nice, but I don't know if they'd work on this. Oh, that one's off, but it's not pretty. I must have ended up like fusing part of it back together. I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Need darker sunglasses. And for time reference, that took over an hour. Anybody want some slightly torched off Westendorf brackets? <laughs> Welcome back. It's actually a new day. Same sweatshirt. If I'm gonna be burning holes into something, I'm gonna consistently burn holes into the same one. Oh, that's rusty. But Dylan and I are gonna knock out a couple hay deliveries, which is gonna work good because you guys can see how one of these grapples work.
loaded and that's some pretty nice hay makes the old ram squat a little bit though brought you some lunch thank you they're unloaded on to the next thing So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plow my little path to the pond because I got some neighbors that want to come over and do some ice fishing. And I've never been ice fishing before, so I might go with them. I might also try and stay warm. But if you guys be interested in uh, seeing an ice fishing video, let me know down in the comment section. Let's curl some snow. It's scientifically proven if you do that in an area where you take a turn like that right there, it's guaranteed to give you more traction. Uh. Yesterday, if you remember uh, earlier in the video, the holdup was we ran out of seat clamps. Dad came and dropped off some seat clamps. Fortunately, he had to go get take care of another problem, so uh, I'm back to welding by myself today. I think I got it tacked on there well enough that I can take it off, take the clamps off. I'm gonna actually put it on the skids here, make sure there's no glaring issues, then weld it up the rest of the way. See if my new bandsaw blade fits. Like an action. There it is, it's done. This project's nipped in the butt. Well, other than I've got to make hoses right there to actually actuate the hooks there. You guys saw me scab in this little piece of angle iron here to give it strength. I got one on this side and that side. 
because I, I didn't really like the way that those were looking, especially after torching on those with the hot knife, trying to get those other brackets off. I'm definitely gonna be really glad to have that in our arsenal when it comes to doing small square bales this summer. Uh, I think that will speed up the process a lot quicker and be able to put up more bales during the day and decrease our risk of getting the hay rained on. If that saves hay getting rained on one time, it's way paid for itself. But the neighbors are here ice fishing. I'm gonna go check in with them and then I've got somebody coming to pick up big round bales. I will load them up and then I'm gonna call it a day. On your way out, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for the support the video and the channel and we'll see you the next time. I ought to get the real barber chair out, right? Yeah. Well, you can put it up for a shot. Hey, look at me. You're in business. Hard to $12. For $12, you can have a haircut, a beer, and a shot of whiskey. Yeah. That way, if they leave and they got a little bit of a buzz on, they can't tell if they've gotten a good haircut or a bad haircut.